<laughs> we literally just got kicked out from the whole entire city. Um, oh my god, there are police, there are police there. Are you cosplaying, sir? Wait, that's real police. Hi, Sam Sans. My name is Jan. Welcome to the world of action. And my name is Zoe. So today I am finally back in Japan. Yeah. 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 I'm so excited to be filming this video. I am going I am to be dressed up as a clown for 24 hours. hours. Obviously, I'm a cloud. Stewie, what are you? Uh, duh. Michael Jackson. Oh my god. I am. There's already a hole in this outfit. This is mine. It doesn't fit Stewie because Stewie is way too thick for this. So he's gonna have to change. Paragong Lola. Okay, right off the bat, before we leave, I really have to pee, and I'm realizing that this does not have a pee hole, so every single time I have to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast, think of a restaurant that has a clown. It is a Saturday, which means there's a lot of people, and it is what it is. <laughs> Give them something to look at, you know? <laughs> something to spice up their day. Yeah. We have made it to the Golden Arch. I mean, dress up as Ronald McDonald, this is basically my home. Bitch! Get out of my video. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm home. We have to be really quiet because everyone is so quiet. I don't understand why Japan is so quiet. I'm so used to talking loud because I was in the US for almost two months. Also, let me just address the elephant in the room. I know a lot of you guys have missed me being crazy in a lot of my videos. If I'm being honest, maybe for the last couple of weeks I've been burnt out, but don't worry. I think I've regained my passion after my travel to the US, so. Don't you worry, clown stand is back. Shut the fuck up. Salad first, even in my clown era. Salad the fuck first. I realized that food in the US is actually really salty. Even the McDonald's. Really? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of different. Stewie, did you miss me? It's been way too long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever celebrated Halloween in Japan, though? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm also going to my hairdresser like this, because I have to get my hair cut today. Let's not play around anymore. Let's actually go to the city center where we actually have an audience. Before we continue with the day, I feel like we need to do a drop it low test because I don't know what kind of festivities we're gonna have today. <laughs> and I don't want our outfits to rip. Stevie, can you hold the camera real quick? Okay. Let's do a drop it low test. <laughs> um, chill. <laughs> it didn't rip. I tried to change. Drop it low test number two. To freedom! You guys, the weirdest thing just happened to us. We literally just got kicked out from the whole entire city. <laughs> For filming. For filming. They were like, do you have a Halloween costume ticket? If not, you're not allowed to film in the entirety of Ikebukuro. Get the fuck out. Well, fuck. <laughs> we're just gonna go to this little cafe. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna get a drink and donuts for both of us. Oh, thank you. Actually, fuck that. <laughs> the line was too long. We're gonna get boba instead. Why do we want to line up for fucking lemonade? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But first of all... Level 2, drop it low test. Drop it loud, test. Mm, completed. <laughs> See, what do you feel about doing things like these in public? Playful. <laughs> Let me tell you something about confidence, you guys. A lot of guys comment things such as, Shan, you're so confident for doing things like that. I don't know how else to put this. You don't have to think about what other people think about you. Because at the end of the day, what are they gonna do about it? Look at you, then what? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're not harming anyone. Why do you care about what people think about you? Exactly. Right? Also, what is the worst they can do to you when you're wearing a clown outfit in public? Laugh at you? Well, that's the job of a clown. You're literally telling me that I'm doing my job perfectly. If there's anything clowns can do, it's tricks. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. And therefore, I should also be able to do tricks. Okay, take a picture of me and Rose. Okay. Um... Oh my god, you literally oh, stepped on your straw. Shit. Oh my god, this oh my is god, so, so yummy. It's literally the most yummy thing I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> it's so yummy. It's making me want to go. <laughs> so, Stevie got taro milk tea. Shut the fuck up and give me that. That is amazing. Wow. Like, oh my god. Mmm. 
I couldn't get anything dairy, so I had to get this soda drink. That is actually something I really appreciate about the US. When I was in the US, you can get oat milk or soy milk or almond milk anywhere you go. I love the variety that the US offers. In Japan, literally, it's always dairy milk. You can't get oat milk unless you're at Starbucks. So when I'm in the US, literally, even if you go to like the most random cafe, you're like, can I please have oat milk instead for this latte? They're gonna be like, no problem. On the other hand, in Japan, if you go to Starbucks and say, can you make me the ice matcha latte? They'll be like, no, it's winter, so we can't do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, you're gonna be cold though. We're worried, it's not gonna be yummy. Shut the fuck, shut the fuck up. Let me know what your favorite boba order is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Fuck my socks. They turned red. They literally turned red. This is staining my shit. <laughs> oh my god, metal, metal police, metal police there. We just got yelled at for filming again, so let's go to our next activity. Wait, this is my favorite song. I don't know what the fuck has gotten into us, but we've literally been just jumping from place to place. Now we're in Shinjuku. We're doing a Japan tour. But honestly, that's one of my favorite things about Japan. This is literally what I miss about Japan. There are certain mechas. Ooh. Not me eating. But there are certain mechas, such as Shinjuku, there's Shibuya, there's Tikebukuro. And I love that the public transport is so cheap and so good. Because when I was in California, there was not like a certain mecha. Everything is so spread out, so it was really hard for me to go from one place to the other. And I had to take Ubers everywhere because I didn't have a car. And one ride is at least $30 to $50. Holy hell. So just like getting to the place and coming back, it's already what? $100 per day. Oh per my God. day. And that is only for transportation. I think that's why we've just been jumping from one place to the other today because I've really missed this flexibility. Because the train from each place it's basically like less than two dollars. Yeah, less than two dollars. Fuck. Oh my god, at least have a trigger warning. KYS bar. You guys might be wondering, oh my god, Stan, why are you in Nichome all of a sudden? It's only 3 p.m. If I'm being honest, I'm tired as fuck because we've been out since morning. Uh -huh. And I don't think I can do this 24-hour challenge if we don't take a nap. The clown and the devil needs a nap. <laughs> the clown, the and, the clown and the devil needs nap. nap. So we are actually going to... Mambo. This place is actually an internet cafe, but also a sleeping room, but also a hotel, also a manga room, also a library, but also a sex dungeon. <laughs> Just kidding, how you thought? We're not going to that place, we're going to the park because the sun is out and we want to sunbathe. We're at Shinjuku Gyoin right now and there's actually a lot of kids dressed up. It's like a private Halloween picnic. I love it. Another thing I really like about Japan is you can nap in public and no one's gonna touch you, no one's gonna do anything, and no one's gonna steal your I love relaxing in the sun. Oh, Loki, this is sexy. <laughs> Loki. Wow, that was so powerful. I hear kids saying, Amite kawaii. I love that I'm a cute clown and I'm not one of those basic ass scary clowns. Scary clowns are so basic. And I'm a sexy devil. I really want to eat at Italy tonight, so I'm going to make a reservation. I'm literally talking to a robot, you guys. This is insane. This is crazy. Why am I talking to a robot? I need a human. Hi. Damn, this is smart. I mean, hi. We have now made it to my favorite hairdresser. Today is Halloween. 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 Today is to just cut the sides on the back because I want the top to be longer. I decided. This is my favorite part. They're gonna wash my hair. I realized we haven't had lunch today, so I'm literally just gonna eat this. I got it from the convenience store, and I also got myself a smoothie. But of course, I made the reservation of Italy today, so I'm excited. Oh my god, Stewie ended up getting a haircut as well, <laughs> just like out of the blue. Are you excited? I am so happy. I am so satisfied. Like, Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> he literally just chopped everything off. He took out so much hair. For me, I just got an undercut. A little middle part for today. I can like put it in that little side part or a little bang moment. Also, shout out to Emma and Wing who said hi to both of us at number 76. But Emma was like, when you walked in, I was like, there's only one extra bitch who would walk into a hair salon in a clown costume. And I was like, is that Stan? And I was right. 
So thanks for saying hi. Also, bigger shout out to Number 76 and me for always doing our hair. Mm -hmm. If you guys need like an English speaking place, always go there. Um, it's dinner time. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> We are at Italy and I haven't had Italy in literally like about three months and it's insane. I am going to go ballistic and the lady was like, let me explain the menu to you. And I was like, stop. I know what I want. Spaghetto Italy con traccia tecatelle. Sorry. Arigato gozaimasu. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. To our new hair and to life. Mm -hmm. We got carbonara and we also got salad first, of course. Thank you so much for taking me here. Of course, Jimmy. Your hair is amazing. Thank you, you too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> salad the fuck first. Ooh, salad the fuck first. Ooh, salad the fuck first. This is one of my favorite salads. I don't understand why it tastes so fucking good with this sheet of cheese. Thank you. Salad first. Literally like nine dollars and it's like one leaf. <laughs> Damn. Why is it so sweet but also so sour but also so salty? And all those extreme flavors meet in the middle to have harmony. You know, being in the US, I've realized how important my family is to me. I love you, Sui. Love you too. <laughs> I'm so excited for my boyfriend Ludwig to move here. Ooh. I can't wait for you to meet him. Mm. He is seriously the love of my life. It's just been such a healthy relationship. We always communicate our feelings. We don't bottle things up. If something's annoying us, or if something's bothering us, we just say it right there and then. Healthy communication builds strong relationships. And that's not only for romantic relationships. We communicate a lot too, and recently our relationship has been so much healthier. Mm -hmm. We don't hide things from each other. If we're feeling something, just say it. Don't yeah. think like, oh my god, he might think bad about it, or it might be toxic. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you're feeling a type of way, you can't help mm -hmm. it. You just have to discuss it with the partner. Let me know in the comments, you guys. Are you guys single? Are you guys seeing something? Someone? Do you guys want to be in a relationship? Do you love being single? Are you in a healthy relationship? A long-term relationship? Long distance? Let me know in the comments. What's your relationship status? I've been having so much fun today and the festivities are not over yet. The night has just started. The night has just begun. The night is still young. Oh, the night is still young. <laughs> oh my god, our oh food god. is here. Look at my spaghetto Italy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so Stevie got carbonara and I got the spaghetti. Oh shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. Every time I have it, but it's like really stringy cheese and it's the best cheese I've ever had in my entire damn life. Fuck you. <laughs> Stop. 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 Everyone, let me make an announcement. I love this place. Thank you. <laughs> Bitch, this isn't enough. And this is what, twenty dollars? Should we go to the convenience store and get onigiri? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I want tiramisu. But thank you. Can I get my tiramisu in peace now? <laughs> I have gotten my tiramisu in peace. Just a little bit because this is my tiramisu in peace. But like why is it a little bit wet right there? Okay, you don't want any. I I'm gonna be honest, this was a mistake to come to Shibuya. There's way too many people. Holy fuck, this is way too much. <laughs> I feel so much tired. Are you cosplaying, sir? Wait, that's real police. Ah, oh, <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> How do we know you're real police, bitch? <sighs> if I'm being honest, we're both really, really tired. We woke up really early today to be filming this video all day. So I think we should just <laughs> go home. Yeah, it's just so overwhelming. There's a lot of people out tonight, even Shibuya and even the gay district. We don't want to be around a lot of people tonight, so I think it's just better if we just go home. Thank you so much for understanding, you guys. It's basically just that, but like every mecca in Tokyo mm -hmm. is that. Like Roppongi, it's that. In Shibuya, it's that. Shinjuku, it's that. Of course, Shibuya is the craziest one, but I had so much fun today, though. Same. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank Thank you so much for always supporting my content. I'm so excited to be uploading more videos. I've also been starting to do shorts recently. So if you got Shut the fuck up. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again in our next video next week.